Hi and welcome to the play review of Inform Odeon Igalo. Plays for Watford in the Football League Championship. He's five foot ten tall. He's got medium medium work rates, a three star weak foot, and three star skills. Looking at his in games, he stands out. So he's 88 shot power, 86 attack position, and 83 sprint speed, 83 dribbling, and 83 volleys. We've also included all of the upgrades from his non-inform as a comparison, so you can see each individual update across the board. So you can always pause the video if you want a close look at all of his stats. So now that's how we felt about Inform Migalo. So we were using him as a striker in a 4-1-2-1-2 championship team with a few of his Watford teammates through in as well. As you can see on screen now, this is the team we used. So Inform Migalo is had a massive, massive shooting upgrade, harking back to the good old days of Ultimate Team. And this is how upgrades should be done here. We don't want piddly little 2-in-1 upgrades all the time. Give a few players a decent upgrade like this one. It has plus 10 finishing, plus 11 shot power, plus 11 volleys, and plus 11 attack positioning, plus more. And these upgrades turn him into a monster up front. Finishing wise, in the box, he is great. Took some great chances, and even on his weaker left foot as well. Longer shots still weren't on point, so best to keep his shooting in and around the box. Anything over 25, 30 yards, he's going to be struggling. He does have his 83 dribbling and 83 sprint speed to help him, though, get into those shooting positions within his shooting range. He's got great dribbling. His dribbling was really, really good, and paired with his 82 strength, make him so dangerous. So not only can he hold off the defenders, but he can actually dribble around them as well. And he did win a couple of penalties with this as well. Defenders trying to get him off the ball, spamming the shirt tug button, led to a penalty which both he did took away as well. Now he does have medium medium work rates, I would prefer high medium or medium low on a striker, but he does have his 86 attack positioning to help out in that area, and it balances it out nicely, it does make some great runs, perfect for if you want a through ball or a lob through ball, he can just bump off the defender with his strength, then take the ball and he's straight through, and then he can use his finishing in the box to tuck away, and 90% of the time it did end up with a goal. Now he is a threat in the air as well, he does have 82 jumping, heading's not too hot, but he did manage a headed finish from a short corner, so he can get on the score sheet using his head as well, and he can get up for uh, goal kicks as well. Only a little downside in the Gallows game is his passing, he's not really up to scratch, but he does make a tank of a player up top. So let's look at Agallo's performance stats. So in seven games, he scored 11 goals and got two assists. All of his stats are on the left, goals are on the right. Position map bottom right shows where goals were scored and assists were created as well. So overall, we're giving Informer Gallo a great 9 out of 10. Awesome little silver striker. Still a bit on the pricey side. He's still around 150k. But he does have some massive upgrades over his non-inform. If he drops a bit under 100, I'd say he's definitely worth it. And he's a dominant force up front. If you've got the coins, I'd say go for him. I really don't think you'll be disappointed. He's a great striker for championship team or a Nigerian squad. Onto his positive and negatives. Positives are he's got his good pace, he's got his great dribble, he's got 83 dribbling, he's got his 82 strength to help him bump off the defenders, he's got 86 attack positioning, great for a silver striker. They're the stats of really a gold striker, and he's got his massive shot upgrade as well, plus 10s on nearly all of his shooting stats. So on negatives, only really small negatives. Price, obviously, 150k is probably a bit too much for a silver in form in the championship, maybe in the premiership, yeah. But hopefully it will drop a touch more. And he's passing. It wasn't really up to scratch, as we said. A lot of loose passes from Agallo. But his main job is being up there, being a beast up top and hammering in the goals. So for that, we can't fault him one bit. Highly recommend you go out and try him. So thanks a lot for watching, lads. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. It does help out a lot. We're trying to grow the channel. I'm trying to do the most in-depth squad builders and reviews. Please check out all the other squad builders and reviews on the channel. Stay tuned for more stuff. Cheers, lads. Peace.